Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video and today we'll be learning how to manage spies and spot and faithful teammates in Conflict of Nations. Now, it's been a while um, and I uploaded a little few video a few days ago, uh, but I'm back and i got a bunch of videos coming out later this week, hopefully. Um, so make sure to have the bell icon set to all and keep up to date with all of that. But anyway, apart from that, let's get on with the video. The spy menu that you need to use will be on the left as a tab called Intel. When you open this tab, two separate windows should pop up. Uh, I don't know if it's the same for the mobile versions of the game, uh, that is for Android, but I'm sure you guys will find it. But anyway, the main window out of the two is the center one. This is where you'll be buying all of your spies. If you're on a Homeland City, when you're on the Intel tab, the center window will say the counter up spy. Uh, as a buyable option. So when purchased, a counter op spy will appear at the bottom whenever you go into that city again. This means your homeland city will be safe against enemy spies and more counter op spies you have in the city, um, the more chance you have of catching the enemy spies uh, if they're in one city in particular. So you can not you can have up to three, I think, in each city. Um, but anyway, it is also recommended that you put a counter op spy in your capital as soon as possible, just for safekeeping. Now, for the abroad territory spies, these spies, instead of being placed in your homeland, are placed in enemy or neutral countries. These spies can steal information, break into coalition's private chats, and cause havoc in cities, but will not automatically declare war if traced back to you if it was caught. This is basically saying that when you catch a foreign spy, there's a slim chance the spy will tell you the player's username of who sent it, it uh, to corrupt your country or spy on it or whatever. Um, if it ever did that, it will appear on the left window in the Intel tab under reports. Then you will trace that name to the diplomacy tab. Then you'll find the person who sent the spy. And if you want to, you can get angry with them. If you like, I mean, you can be nice, you can be angry, do whatever you want. Now, you have the two options. You can either unleash a full load of suicide spies in their country to damage their buildings, or you can put more counter op spies in your cities to prevent them from doing anything. But this spy war won't mean that you're properly at war with them. They can declare war on you, but having a spy battle won't do anything to your diplomatic status. Right, different types of spies you could send to them are intelligence, which will reveal the units in that city or the surrounding lands um, and interrupt messages between other players and see what they're talking about and all that stuff, show you what they're researching or their black market trades. So that's pretty useful to me, I'm not going to lie. But um, corruption, uh, which will mess with their resources production and basically make them lose money on that city or something, I think. And lastly, sabotage, which will destroy the buildings in that city and stop them mobilizing anything out of it. Which also is very useful if they are golding. Unless they have a lot of gold, then you're screwed. Right, for this section of the video, I'll be talking about moles in your coalition. For those who don't know what that means, um, a mole is basically someone you're not on good terms with in your coalition. Or they have joined your coalition and they're basically just giving away your team's unit's positions. It's generally the lowest form of human being and should be blown up by a Russian tank. But sometimes, uh, moles are not always in your coalition. For example, there could be someone you want to invite to your coalition and you're telling them to get ready for an attack and they agree. But when it comes to inviting them after four days, of waiting for your AFK player to be kicked, you get no response from this person, and now he knows who you're attacking and who's AFK for free land. It, it's very annoying, basically. So, watch out for that. But there is a way of how to solve this. Any teammate or player or anything that are acting suspicious, you could just put an intel spy on their country, or in it, or wherever you want to say that. Yes, th this means you can sabotage and corrupt your own teammates. But after a day, your intel spy should pick up any messages going in and out of their country. But if they're smart, 
they might have counter ops in their cities. So look around in their home country for a city that you think they don't use much and place your spy there because it probably won't get caught or anything like that. So I'm pretty sure I've covered everything to do with spies and their abilities. And if I missed anything or you have a question, leave it in the comments below and I'll reply to it shortly. But that's all from me today. So make sure to like and subscribe. And if you didn't like it, you can piss off and go somewhere else or whatever you want to do. Uh, but anyway, peace.